Hi there, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to use uh, Tellium CSS in React Native project. And here it is, I already built a React Native uh, project for Android and I am going to use Expo Framework. Okay, so this is Expo Framework uh, project. Now you can say that uh, you can you can say you can say that uh, why I'm using Expo Framework. Look at this. In, this is the documentation of React Native, and this version is 0.76. In this documentation, they recommended to use uh, framework like Expo. Okay. So and also they said that if you are building a new app with React Native, we recommend that use a framework, and there is only one popular framework called Expo. So I also going to recommend you to uh, use Expo Framework. So let's talk about the Tellium CSS. So to use Tellium CSS, you have to install this package Native Win. So for installing Native Win, you have to copy this code. Here it is. I will provide this link in the description and you have to select this expo and after selecting this expo you have to just click on copy button and you have to copy this uh, packages so let's go to the visual studio Code and click on the enter and it will uh, it's going to install native win telling css don't worry about don't spe specify the telling css uh, version we, we we are going to install latest version and we have to you know, it's going to install react native reanimated and also this package for save area view okay so after installing this package you have to run this command uh, this command okay uh, to create uh, tailwind tailwind.config.js file i hope you understand so just cl click and you can see you can see that uh, a file has been created so look at this here it is the file and you have to co uh, copy this two line and after copy this two line you have to paste here and this content means that uh, i will use uh, tailwind css class in f here it is f folder and uh, it means that in this f folder I will use in JS file, JSS file, TSS file, and PSS file in file the Tailwind CSS. So also I am going to add this component because I will use Tailwind CSS in the component file. That's why I will copy this. I'm going to copy this text and paste here and remove this app. And now I'm going to write uh, con component, component, components, components. Okay. So this is the configuration for where I will use Tailwind CSS. After after doing this, just go to the third step. Here it is we have to create a global css if you want you can do this but uh, in this video uh, i will do uh, later not now go to the third step and here it is we have to uh, copy copy this co this code and uh, we have to paste here but you can see that there is no file called uh, bubble.config.js that's why we need to copy this space and we have to create this file after creating this file we are going to paste this uh, this code in this file okay so let's save it and let's save it uh, okay so let's go to the fourth step here it is and it says that if you don't have any metro.config.js then run this custom code okay so let's run this custom code look at this there is no metro.config.js file after running this code it will automatically create this file after creating this file just click on the on the copy button and just paste here okay and save it after saving that let's go to the third step and you don't need to do this third step if you want so i will show you how to it's not five not third step uh, i'm going to i'm talking about the five step so minimally i i have we done okay we already installed the React Native. Let's use the this uh, Tellium CSS, not React Native, Native Win. Let's use the Tellium CSS. Here it is. Class uh, name and uh, text dot red and uh, here it is text dot to Excel. And we can check. Look at this. Oh, we have to just run this apps, the server. After running the server, just wait and see. Here it is. Okay, now click on the R and it will refresh my apps. Now you will see that the text is not changed. Don't worry about this. This happens. So just you have to delete all, all the text. Okay. And now create a new component called text and native na native wind. Ind wind. Okay, so just add a class and text to Excel, text uh, read. 600 and let's check it and we can see there is no change just reload that okay we can see that there is no changes in this uh, area so don't worry about this it's happened okay okay so maybe we have to just install the this thing maybe i don't know just just click uh, just create a css file here it is and just create a go global.css after creating this global.css you have to just copy this code and paste here after pasting this css file just copy this thing and go to the underscore uh, layout.css file in this app directory and just paste this code in here and after pasting this code just close the server and restart the server mm, i hope it going to work i hope i don't know inshallah it, it will work come on come on 
Yeah. No. Reload these apps. Come on. Yeah. Da -da -da. This is working. Okay, so let's do that. Takes dot three XL, not three XL, and yeah, this is three XL. And another thing is that something you notice that uh, the class name shows underline uh, red line under red line or some error. So if you are facing any type of error under the class name, then you have to just uh, go to the type stream guide and create a folder, not folder, create a file called this native win dash uh, env dash d dash tss so this file already created maybe yeah why this yes here it is so this file automatically created so we don't need to create this but if you are facing any kinds of problem then you have to create this full file and after creating this file you have to just copy this code here and paste here okay after pasting this uh, code you will not going to face any kinds of uh, class name error underline your i hope you understand and this is useful to you and after setting this oh another thing is that you can you can add any type of class in this class in the css area so let's uh, add a class called uh, view box okay so width is 400 pixel height is 400 pixel and uh, uh, bg color background color is blue 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 okay so after adding whole thing just copy this thing and go to and create a view box uh, view component and i will add a class called view okay so i hope i going to, yeah here it is the box i hope you can understand and uh, you can also install this expo this net uh, telium css okay and it win and uh, let's talk about the version i am going to use expo version is 52 and reactive version is 76 maybe just a minute here it is reactive version is 76.2 and react version is 18.3.1 okay so bye bye